Um, there's a line in the movie where it talks about the energy flows down the leash. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious, acting with a dog, is, is that also the case? It's so true. I mean, I experience it on a daily basis with with Varco, my, my co-star. <laughs> um, he could always tell how I was feeling. And uh, um, there was this one day on set which was so moving to me, and that's, that was the real proof of that saying. Um, we were shooting one of the one of the war scenes, and there are you know fake explosives going off, and I was a little bit nervous, and I I was just sort of sitting down waiting to, to for the scene to start, and um, I was holding his leash, and I was just thinking to myself like, oh gosh, I hope this doesn't go wrong, and he could feel it, and he like kind of licked me and snuggled in, and we didn't have that. We have a very like specific relationship. I didn't spend a lot of time, you know cuddling him like you do with most sort of dogs and animals. It was a very specific thing. So when he did that, I, I knew, oh, he can feel this. Like, he wants me to feel at ease. Um, and, it, and it did put me at ease knowing that he, I had him there. I got to spend some time with the dog and we did some training and obstacle courses and learning commands. But with the energy of a set, you know, my dog wasn't an acting dog where Rex was, he's a professional, he's like a star dog, he's incredible. You know, my dog was an actual fire rescue dog. And so with all the noise of the set and all the energy, I had to really, I would usually take him to the side and just pull him away from everyone because he would get all worked up. And not only that, if I started feeling any type of anxiety about how he was behaving, he would feel that too. So it just, it kept me very honest and, and, and true as to how I was feeling in a moment and making sure that that, because it absolutely goes down leash and it would translate to him and he would start acting erratic or, you know, I had to calm down so he could calm down. Well, he, remember he used to do that thing, which we had to stop doing. Um, where action. we would say, yeah, anytime they said action, he just instantly would sort of like jump up and want to start running. Because I think the first few scenes we did with him on action, he would have to run to me or something. So we had to stop saying action when he was in the scene because he would just instantly hear it. Game go, on! Yeah. What do I need to chase? Uh -huh. What do I need to find? Yeah. Yeah. I, ha I had a lot of compassion for for those brothers and sisters who had to handle the, <clears throat> the dogs, you know, during the, you know, obviously during the filming because I was like, you know, as an actor, sometimes you nervous yourself. You trying to center yourself, but then you have to work with, with the, you know, with the dog to make sure they're centered. So it's like, it's a whole nother. I mean, obviously, like people like Megan Levy and people who serve in the in the military have a whole nother, That's a, yeah. another level yeah. of to yes. deal with, uh, you know, nerves and, and and life and death situations. But I did look at those at the people on the set like, dang, I feel bad. I had a couple of tough days. I won't I won't deny it. Like where I had all the gear on and they're strapping things on and clipping and putting my M4 my weapon, and I've got the door and it's like and then I've got to say my lines. Yeah. And like I'm like I'm juggling like, and and I got to make sure the dog is calm and when he when I stop he has to stop. Yeah. You know, like, so it was a, it was probably, that was more of the complicated part was making sure that everything was kind of happening right. Because it, 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 there was a lot of, it's unpredictable when you're dealing with an animal. I'm, I'm curious about the family. I particularly love Bradley Whitford. It's just. Oh, he's so great. <laughs> it's so amazing to see him in Get Out play like a villainous dad and then like the sweetest dad in the world. <laughs> he's amazing. He was amazing I in that too. I love him, yeah. He's also very, um, what I loved about him the most is he comes from, this fast talking, smartest guy in the room stuff. And like, that's why we love him. It's like mm -hmm. Josh, you know, and West Wing. And so for me, it was amazing watching him have to be such a thoughtful, kind sensitive, of pensive, yeah. totally sensitive. And um, he's feeling it and he's thinking that wise thing, but he doesn't always say it right off. And so him having to show that restraint as an actor was so cool to watch that come alive.